I'm Denny Grayson, and I'm here to bring you this month's makeup tutorial. Every month, my patrons decide which character I will be doing a makeup tutorial on, and this month, it's Judy Hopps. Side note, I think I just made my video intro, like the official one that I'll use every single month when I make these videos. Uh, we'll see if it lasts. Anyway, Judy Hopps is one of my favorite characters to come out of the modern Disney films, so I'm really excited to show you how I transform into this cute, daring, and positive little bunny. Alright everyone, as usual, my contacts are already in, and I am starting with my color correcting concealer. This concealer is peach toned so that it can counteract the blues of my under eye bags. And I'm also going to use this on any other blemishes, the corners of my mouth, anything that I want to be hiding. Then I am dabbing on some liquid foundation and I'll be blending that out with a beauty blender. I like to damp my beauty blender using water before I start blending everything out. It's just because with the water, it allows the product not to get soaked by the sponge. Moreover, the water causes the sponge to expand in size, so then you'll have a bigger surface area that you can use on the sponge. Don't forget to work the foundation into your hairline as well as your ears and down your neck so that everything matches and it's all blended nicely together. Using a loose powder on a fluffy brush, I will be setting my concealer and foundation. As usual, I like to tap off the excess before applying anything on my face so that it doesn't get too cakey. With that out of the way, it's time to finally transform ourselves more into the character. So for Judy Hopps, I actually like to take inspiration from the features of real life rabbits. I feel like that sounds a little weird when I say it out loud. Uh, but I firstly just like how it translates into my cosplay. So for the contour, I like to follow generally how a bunny's face would be. With that in mind, I like to make my face a lot more narrow, which is why you can see me dragging down the cheek contour, as well as refining my jaw and forehead. As for the nose, the contour is basically keeping it wide at the bridge of the nose, and then very narrow and very defined at the tip of the nose. For now, I'm only using contour shades, and I also like to define the tip of the nose by drawing a little line. This is a technique commonly used to make button noses, but I feel that it also helps with making this kind of bunny nose. Before finishing off the nose, I like to add on some blush already. Using the blush, I put it above the cheek contour over there. And I also concentrate it right next to my nose area because in a real bunny, that's where their whiskers would go and such. Now going back to the nose, I'm using the blush color to define the nose even more. So you know how like a bunny's nose is basically a downward triangle? I'm basically creating that using the blush and I'm using a very light tone blush first to map everything out. Then I'll be switching to a red blush and going just very gradually with it. I also take that red blush to my cheeks and make everything a lot more defined. Once we do the eyes, they could get washed out, so add again if you have to, but I like going heavy already on this step. For the eyes, the main goal is to basically make those downward almond-shaped eyes that bunnies have, since bunnies' eyes are basically off almost to the sides of their head. That's why they look that way. So we're gonna try and mimic something like that. I start by defining the outer corner of my lid. So I'm just using my contour shades as well. This isn't even eyeshadow, it's just the contour. But I'm laying it on a lot heavier. And I'm making sure that that outer corner has the darkest spot, just so that we can lift it up later using eyeliner. As for the bottom waterline, I am actually drawing a line underneath that inner corner. I'm basically making that new inner corner. Again, this is just to mimic the shape of rabbit's eyes and on my real inner corner, I'm bringing that down. So we're basically making like this eye illusion that the inner corner is actually all the way down there. Now to sell the look completely, I'm using some eyeliner and creating a large wing. This is mostly because Judy Hopps' eyes are, first of all, gorgeous and very defined. 
So if I just use eyeshadows, this whole thing would kind of get lost. And adding this darkness really creates a great contrast. Since we're bringing down the inner corner, I also like to lift the outer corner so that everything looks a lot more balanced. And here is where my eyeliner starts to die. Let us have a moment of silence to respect it. Okay, moment of silence over. I've switched to some gel liner and I don't think I have the footage of this for some reason, but I set the gel liner using black eyeshadow after. We aren't done with the eyes yet, but really quickly, I'm gonna jump onto the eyebrows because it's just starting to feel weird. Judy Hopps has very beautiful, defined, thick eyebrows, so I'm doing the same for mine. If you already have very amazing eyebrows, good for you, but if you're like me, you're gonna have to draw it on your own. And then I like using my embroidery brow, as I always do. To make the hairs look more realistic, especially at the front where my hairs are super sparse. Now back to the eye, like I mentioned, we are doing the extended inner corner and uplifted outer corner. So to really sell that look, I'm using white eyeliner to fill in that inner corner as well as line my waterline so that our eyes look big and cartoony just like Judy's in the movie. As usual, do the same on your other eye. I just don't like to show it in my videos because uh, I feel like it's just going to be too long. Anyway, curl your lashes and then apply a generous coat of mascara to prep them for false lashes. With the eyes done, I just go back to the blush and add a lot more color because the eyes are so intense now and they kind of washed out the blush. So I'm adding more and focusing them on my lower cheeks. Then for the lips, I do a very specific lip for Judy, which is basically a gradient lip, but I like to focus the gradient at the entire center rather than like the, the inside close to the edge of your lips, the inside edge of your lips. And then, as you can see, I blend it out. Now, I use a pretty dark shade when I do Judy, so if you blend it out too much, don't worry, just grab some foundation or concealer and tap that on the edges and then blend that again with your little sponge or finger, or finger. You can use your finger. And there you go. So as you can see, it's kind of defined in the center, even the cupid's bow as well as the bottom lip, but then towards the edges of the mouth, it's already tapers out. So for the highlight, I'm doing the usual. I'm highlighting the inner corner, which is our fake inner corner. So highlight that bottom where those two lines meet. And then as usual, I'm highlighting my eyebrows, my nose bridge, the tip of my nose. I'm making sure to make that little upside down triangles that rabbits have. And my cheekbones, as well as my cupid's bow and chin. And actually, that's it! That's the makeup! So let me put on everything and get back to you. And there is my Judy Hopps transformation. I hope that you enjoyed this and maybe learned something new. Like how strange it can sometimes be because I like to use a reference, which is a real bunny rabbit. You know, I just like looking like a creature, okay? Like even in real life, but also in cosplay. I just, I find it a lot more interesting, so that's why I did it. Speaking of animals, I want to know what animal do you think best represents you? Like if something happened and we will all turn into animals, what animal would you turn into? I would definitely be a goat. I'm just clumsy, I like to sleep a lot, and I like making goat noises. I'm not going to do it now because I feel weird now that I mention it out loud. Anyway, tell me in the comments below which animal you would be and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to, subscribe Like if you want to see my next few videos. This part is always so weird. I feel so weird for saying this. Anyway, uh, also, if you want to maybe get your hands into choosing which character I do, check out my Patreon. Okay, that's all. Bye!